Hello friends, welcome to an AA Fuzz video, Callie is here, and I'm going to do an N8N workflow video for you guys today, um, and we are going to be building this real simple workflow that will allow you to use Claude and web search and basically all the functionalities of Claude outside of Claude. Um, you can use it on the, on your phone, you can do a telegram app, you can actually insert this into your other workflows, and we're going to be doing this from scratch. So I can show you step by step. I know a lot of you guys are trying to learn any again, and it's so much fun, uh, so I want to show you. So, a couple things we'll need you, I've definitely, you're going to need an MA again account, obviously. You're going to need a Claude account as well, with some credits, I would say, um, for the uh, Claude account, put like five dollars in there. That way you'll be able to use the API outside of Claude. So first we're going to start with a new workflow right in here, blank canvas, and then we're going to add a chat trigger. Okay, now the chat trigger is basically going to be able to let us chat with Claude through the chat box. Or you can do a telegram trigger, you can do a schedule trigger, whatever you want to do is fine. Alright, so we're going to pick next node is AI Agent. All right here. Okay, and then we'll go into the configuration in a minute. We have to add a chat model to this and we're going to do the Anthropic chat model. Okay, so this is for the chat model, so this is where you'll need to set up your Claude API. So I have one in here already, but what you guys would do would create a new credential, and then you would actually have to go to uh, Claude settings. I'm gonna boot it up. Whoops, okay, you would have to go to the settings, and then API keys, and you would just hit create a key. All right, once you do that, you'll be able to plug it in to the new credential save it'll be have a green box and it'll say that your credential is created successfully all right so we have this um, next we're going to use well let's just test this out so we're gonna hit this open chat and I'm just going to put hi enter and then it's gonna go through the AI agent and here it is Claude responding to us in the chat and move this up all right so next we're going to use simple memory and essentially all the simple memory does is allows us to keep an ongoing chat going I'm going check keep a chat going with Claude and there's no uh, breaks or it doesn't end the uh, the chat so that's required all right okay so next node we're going to add is an H HTTP request and this will allow us to do the web search for Claude. So um, I'll do it this way. Okay, so what do you have that added? We need to get the uh, curl information to let this know that we need to get the curl information to set up this node with the correct settings. So if you go to um, Anthropic uh, Web Search this is the article that's introducing the web search on the API. You scroll through the bottom and you click on documentation and it gives you all the information. I uh, have used web search, tool definition, etc. Now a cool thing about this, um, for Bart for showing us this, is that you can actually have specific code here that will allow you to just search only websites so if you have like a business or like a business and you want to create a chat bot that only knows about you know, learns about your business or you want to ask questions it'll only reference your website and what information you have there basically not needing the the you don't have to create a rag for that it'll just run off of the information on your website very cool but we're going to be using this how to search the web and this is the curl request this is basically the how to, it's going to set up the node fill everything in for us so we're going to copy this right here we're going to go back to NAN open up this node and if you see here at the very top it says import import curl we're going to click on that and then paste what we just copied and then we're going to 
hit the import and if if you notice it fills everything out for us there's the body of the cur uh, body of the curl they gave us the, the the key and everything else is in here for us so um that's pretty cool here i want to give us a description we're going to use this tool to search the web And also down here, you see it has a key, but we already set up our keys already. So we're going to actually um, use the authent authentication type for a predefined credential type. So essentially, that just means Wimber would remember when we set up the uh, put the API key for Claude before. We're just going to do that again. Not again, but we're going to use that. So another the next step would be going into the body of the curl. This is um, the body here. And if you notice this content saying, how do I uh, update the web? We don't want that. We want this to be able to search the web dynamically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to delete this. And we're going to do um, squiggly pearl thingy web and then underscore search underscore question and then end squiggly curl thingies there you go so now don't forget your little quotation marks guys now we're going to take all this code so once you do that you're going to backspace and then you're going to select the JSON right here we're going to let the model decide and it's going to bring up a little description box where you would paste what you just copied code and again this is basically just telling Claude a, um, I'm looking for the information and I'm going to reference this web search tool knowing that I need to search the web for this okay we're gonna go add options just a message and then we're going to tell it what or just give it some direction on what to do web search tool book to search the web for answers to questions all right and it's going to go through and uh, use the anthropic APIs going to do the web search here to find the answers to what we're asking. Well, and there's the answer card weather in New York is um, this 52 degrees damn it's cold all right so you see it works um, you know it works with simple questions like that let's move on to the next step all right so the prompt we're putting or the, the directions or they're, they're, they're putting in here first create a prompt to to for a website chatbot assistant it uses web search tools to browse the web and it's going to generate a prompt that we'll be able to input into the um, Claude AI search agent that'll help it define what it needs to do so I'm just going to take all this copy and then you're going to go back to and again go into the AI agent writing here we're just going to paste over this And that's it for that. All right, now, tech guys, you have this workflow done and it's built. So now you can ask your questions and you can have your, use the uh, Amgopic API chat outside of Claude as well as a think module from N8N. So make sure you guys have fun and experiment, play around with this. So subscribe and like uh, AI Fuzz. We provide you with a lot of AI information from Pump UI workflows to N8N workflows. And hopefully, I think. Uh, we can provide as much information as we can. So I am uh, Callie. I'll see you guys.